2001, A Space Odyssey. I mean, who ever plays that with the full fanfare and, you know, all those sorts of things happening? Well, the Astor did. Vanda Hamilton is the president of the Friends of the Astor Association. <laughs> I came here to see the, uh, the reissue of Poltergeist. Uh, was it last year or the year before? And this woman who's a regular here, and I guess she's, she's an elderly woman, and she kept on, she was sitting in front of me and she kept on saying, they don't do that, you know. No, they never pile up chairs like that. And I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, I'm sitting behind someone who knows what poltergeists do. The Astor Theatre is a major cultural icon of Melbourne, and Vander has worked hard to make sure it stays that way, so many more generations can enjoy experiences like hers. I remember coming to see a, a Charlie Chaplin double and going back to, you know, old people being here um, who'd seen it originally and they had gone into the stalls so they didn't have to climb the stairs. There were lots of young kids here and they just loved it. They just loved it. Sitting on the St Kilda end of Chapel Street, the Astor is Melbourne's oldest continuous cinema. It has been in its current form since 1983, when George Florence took over and began screening double bill classic films on a nightly basis, A Clockwork Orange being one of the most popular movies. Marzipan was the famous Astor theatre cat for 21 years until she unfortunately died in 2013. Now they have a new cat. His name is Duke. Astor General Manager Zach Hepburn explains why they got him. I like the idea that there's theatre cats going back to like, you know, the Globe Theatre had a theatre cat and all these kind of, you know, old Edwardian theatres had a theatre cat that would be just sort of like the resident uh, looker after of the building. Uh, so it's something that I really wanted to continue and I think he's really kind of settled in quite nicely. So. When you visit Australia, make sure you include the Astor for a touch of Melbourne culture and hopefully you get lucky in 2001 A Space Odyssey is showing. But it probably will be, considering it's the most screened film at the Astor of all time. <laughs>